Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Celebrity Legacy. Today, we mourn the loss of Hollywood legends who left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. From iconic actors to beloved musicians, these famous celebrities may be gone, but their legacy lives on. Join us as we pay tribute to the stars who passed away today, leaving behind a legacy of memories and a lasting impact on our lives. So let's start. Judith Belushi Pisano, born on January 7, 1951, was an American actress, writer, and artist. Passed away on July 5, 2024, at the age of 73. Best known for her work related to her late husband, comedian John Belushi. She co-authored Samurai Widow, a memoir detailing her life with John and coping with his untimely death. Judith also collaborated on the oral history Belushi, celebrating John's life and career. In addition to her literary contributions, she has produced various projects, including the documentary Belushi and the film Guild Alive. Judith continues to preserve and promote John's legacy while contributing to the arts in her own right. John Landau, born July 23, 1960, was a prominent American film producer known for his collaboration with director James Cameron. Landau co-produced the groundbreaking film Titanic, 1997, which won 11 Academy Awards, including Best Picture. He later produced Avatar, 2009, the highest grossing film of all time, until it was surpassed by Avengers Endgame, 2019. Landau's innovative work on Avatar earned him numerous accolades and showcased his expertise in utilizing cutting-edge technology to create immersive cinematic experiences. His successful career continues with the production of the Avatar sequels, further cementing his reputation as a visionary producer in the film industry. Passed away on July 5, 2024 at the age of 63, Vic Sixis, born August 30, 1923, was an American former tennis player renowned for his exceptional career in the 1950s. He won the Wimbledon singles title in 1953 and the U.S. Open singles title in 1954. Sixis also achieved great success in doubles, securing titles at Wimbledon, the U.S. Open, the French Open, and the Australian Open. His dynamic play and consistency earned him a place among the world's top-ranked players. Sakes's was inducted into the International Tennis Hall of Fame in 1971, recognizing his contributions to the sport and his remarkable achievements on the court. Passed away on July 5, 2024, aged 100. Jane McAlevey was an influential American author, labor organizer, and scholar. Passed away on July 7, 2024, at the age of 59, at her cabin in Muir Beach. Known for her expertise in labor movements and grassroots organizing, McAlevey has written several books, including Raising Expectations and No Shortcuts, Organizing for Power in the New Gilded Age. Her works focus on effective strategies for building collective power and reviving the labor movement. As a senior policy fellow at the University of California, Berkeley, she contributes to the academic discourse on labor issues while actively engaging in organizing efforts across various sectors. McAlevey's impactful career is dedicated to advocating for workers' rights and empowering communities through strategic organizing. Cliff Waldron was a renowned bluegrass musician and banjo player, known for his innovative contributions to the genre. Emerging in the 1960s, Waldron's dynamic playing and unique arrangements helped shape modern bluegrass music. He formed Cliff Waldron and the New Shades of Grass, gaining popularity with hits like California Cotton Fields and Your Love is Like a Flower. Waldron's blend of traditional bluegrass with contemporary influences set him apart. After a brief hiatus, 
he returned to music, continuing to perform and record, leaving an indelible mark on the bluegrass community with his distinctive style and enduring talent. Passed away on July 1, 2024 in Virginia at the age of 83. Robert Town was an acclaimed American screenwriter, director, and producer. Born in 1934, he gained fame for writing the classic film Chinatown, 1974, for which he won an Academy Award. Town's other notable works include Shampoo, The Last Detail, and Mission Impossible. Known for his sharp dialogue and complex characters, he has made significant contributions to Hollywood cinema. Town has also directed films such as Personal Best and Tequila Sunrise. His influential career spanned several decades, cementing his status as a legendary figure in screenwriting. Passed away on July 1, 2024, at the age of 89, at his home in Los Angeles. Kinky Friedman, born on November 1, 1944, was an American singer, songwriter, novelist, humorist, and politician. On June 27, 2024, it was announced that Friedman had died at his home at Echo Hill Ranch in Medina from complications of Parkinson's disease. He was 79 years old. He gained fame in the 1970s as the leader of the band Kinky Friedman and the Texas Jew Boys, known for their satirical and politically incorrect lyrics. His music blends country, rock, and comedy. Friedman is also a prolific writer, having authored numerous mystery novels featuring himself as a fictional detective. In addition to his entertainment career, Friedman has run for political office, including a notable campaign for governor of Texas in 2006. His unique blend of music, humor, and social commentary has made him an enduring cultural figure. Don Murray, born July 31, 1929, was an acclaimed American actor known for his versatile career in film, television, and theater. Passed away at his home on February 2, 2024, at the age of 94. He made a remarkable debut in Bus Stop, 1956, starring alongside Marilyn Monroe, which earned him an Academy Award nomination for Best Supporting Actor. Murray continued to impress with roles in A Hatful of Rain, 1957, The Hoodlum Priest, 1961, and Conquest of the Planet of the Apes, 1972. On television, he starred in series like Knott's Landing and Twin Peaks. His performances are characterized by emotional depth and authenticity, contributing to his lasting legacy in Hollywood. Murray's enduring career reflects his talent and dedication to the craft of acting. Susan Buckner, born January 28, 1953, was an American actress best known for her role as Patty Simcox in the iconic musical film Grease, 1978. Passed away in Miami, Florida on May 2, 2024, at the age of 72. Buckner began her career as a dancer and actress, gaining early recognition as a member of the troupe on The Dean Martin Show. Her breakthrough came with Grease, where her portrayal of the bubbly cheerleader earned her widespread recognition. She also appeared in television shows like The Love Boat and When the Whistle Blows. In addition to her acting career, Buckner competed in beauty pageants, including winning the title of Miss Washington in 1971. Her contributions to entertainment remain fondly remembered by fans of Greece and classic television. Carl Weathers was an American actor and former professional football player, celebrated for his dynamic roles in film and television. Born in 1948, Weathers initially gained fame as Apollo Creed in the Rocky series, showcasing his athletic prowess and acting talent. He also starred as Dylan in Predator and had memorable roles in Action Jackson and Happy Gilmore. On television, Weathers played Chubbs Peterson and appeared in series like Arrested Development and The Mandalorian. Before his acting career, he played in the NFL with the Oakland Raiders. Weathers' diverse talents and charismatic presence have made him a respected and enduring figure in the entertainment industry. Passed away at his home in Los Angeles on February 2, 2024, at age 76. John Savident, born on January 21, 1938, in Guernsey, was a renowned British actor best known for his role as Fred Elliott 
in the long-running ITV soap opera Coronation Street, which he portrayed from 1994 to 2006. Savadin's deep, booming voice and larger-than-life persona made his character memorable. Before his television fame, he had an extensive stage career, performing with prestigious companies such as the Royal Shakespeare Company. Savadin's film credits include A Clockwork Orange, 1971, and Yes, Prime Minister, 1986. In addition to acting, he is a skilled opera singer. Despite retiring from regular television roles, Savadent occasionally returns to the stage and screen, maintaining a respected presence in the acting community. Passed away at his home in Los Angeles on February 2, 2024, at age 76. Today, breaking news, Ellen DeGeneres, the American comedian and talk show host, has been open about her struggles with health issues, including depression. After coming out as gay in the late 1990s, she faced significant professional and personal challenges that impacted her mental health. Ellen has also dealt with back pain and the stress of running a daily talk show, but she continues to focus on maintaining a healthy lifestyle and positive outlook.